it's a Monday morning. I can't say beautiful because it's a little bit crisp. It's a little bit cold. I'd say last week it was actually hit like 80 or almost 90 degrees. And now it's like it dropped like 20, 30 degrees. Now we're back to normal spring weather. But I don't know. Anyways, hey, how is everyone going today? I'm shooting this on a beautiful Monday morning. So I'll probably upload it in just a little bit anyway. But I just have a little quick thing to talk about. Especially if you have like a touchscreen Windows laptop, touchscreen yeah, touchscreen Windows laptop because Macs don't have them yet. That's probably a good thing. Is it? What do you guys think down below? Do you guys think Mac uh, computers, Apple computers should be having touchscreen by now or what? I don't know. Um, anyways, I have this one here. And I know it's a little bit dark to, to see it and stuff. You can see there's a touchscreen. When I go up and down, right? You can log in with it. Now, some people, they may have a problem, and it might be a random problem that it actually occurs, right? With any type of touchscreen laptop, you might see these little ghost touches. Ghost touches. And we're not talking about that type of ghost. Uh, we're talking about ghost touches here. So sometimes if you have maybe like a touchscreen laptop, and for some reason that the touchscreen is is making those little dots, uh, it's hard to always show that. So I'll, make, I'll see if I can find a screenshot of it here. Um, and it's basically false presses that's on a touch screen. You, you see them more a lot usually with more like tablets or something Or if you have a crack screen, you probably have a crack screen that has this and it's because it's putting pressure on the touch screen itself it thinks it's touching but it's actually not other times you could just have a damaged uh, digitizer Which is just the front here even though there's no there's no uh, Damage to it. There could be something here or there could be damage to the board or something like that So I'm gonna show you a quick little thing how to do it. Let's just get right into it all right, so if you have your laptop here, um, this is going to be a similar thing if you have Windows 10 or Windows 11, which all you want to do is you want to be able to go to the Start menu. You want to right-click that. You want to go over to Device Manager. And you're going to get this. It comes up. Now you want to go to Human Interface Devices. You want to click the little drop-down here. And now you see, oh, look, HID compliant touchscreen. So that's exactly what you think it is. And it's a touchscreen uh, input. So you just want to right click it, hit disable device, and hit OK. And there you have it. So it disables the touchscreen, actually doesn't work, and it's a good thing, right? Well, it's a good thing if you have this problem. Uh, obviously, the best solution would be really just to get a screen replacement, but another solution would also be to disable the touchscreen. We can do it internally if you want to do that as well. Now, there's lots of different connections. You can go actually to the LCD connection, uproot it, remove it. You don't want to do that process because I'll, I'll obviously do that as well. It would disable it too. And uh, some of the times, or actually most of the time, you'll see the little pin connection that's actually there. If you, re if you remove it, it's part of the LCD itself. So the LCD is part of the touchscreen connection. Other times, you'd have to go remove this part of it, right? Take up the LCD. And then there's usually like a digitizer board that could be there or other times it's not. So, and there's sometimes there's some laptops that have in-cell touches as well. So just, just a quick little video for you guys, a uh, quick little informative video for you guys that have this type of problem on the ghost touching or any other type of problems with the touch screen itself. Obviously best solution, just replace the screen eventually, but it's a good solution for now. I know a lot of you people out there buy laptops because you like those touch screens and I understand that. So, um, Obviously, this works for any other type of device. If you have a Surface 2, it'll do the same, same type of thing. So anyways, hope you guys will watch this video. If you did, please leave a like. Really, this helps us a lot. Subscribe for more content. See you guys next video. Thanks a lot. Take care, guys. Bye.